Hello! Not many people know that the Russian writer Yevgeny Petrov, who co-authored The Twelve Chairs and The Golden Calf with Ilya Ilf, had a very strange hobby. Throughout his life, he collected envelopes from his own letters. He usually did this by writing a letter to some country with a fictional address and the name of a fictional addressee. After some time, the letter would return to him with various stamps and a note like, Addressee not found. This went on for quite a while until something truly mystical happened. In April 1939, Yevgeny Petrov decided to send a letter to New Zealand. Following his usual scheme, he invented a city called Hybridville, a street named Rye Beach, specified house number 7, and the addressee's name as Merrill Ogden Weasley. In English, he wrote in the letter, Dear Merrill, accept sincere condolences on the death of Uncle Peter. Stay strong, old man. Sorry for not writing for so long. I hope everything is fine with Ingrid. Kiss your daughter for me. She's probably all grown up by now. Yours, Yevgeny. More than two months passed since the mailing, but the letter with the corresponding mark inexplicably did not return. The writer was already thinking that it got lost somewhere. Similar cases had happened before. But then August came, and Petrov did receive a letter from New Zealand. To his immense surprise, this letter was a response. At first, Petrov even thought that someone was playing a joke on him in his own style. However, when he read the return address, he suddenly stopped joking. The envelope said, New Zealand, High Birdville, Rye Beach, 7, Merrill Lodge and Weasley. And all of this was confirmed by the official stamp, New Zealand, High Birdville Post. The letter read, Dear Yevgeny, Thank you for the condolences. Uncle Peter's absurd death threw us off course for six months. I hope you'll forgive the delay in the letter. Ingrid and I often remember the two days you spent with us. Gloria is all grown up and will start the second grade in the fall. She still keeps the teddy bear you brought her. The thing is, Petrov had never been to New Zealand, so he was simply shocked to see in the photo a well-built man hugging himself, Petrov. On the back of the picture, it was written, October 9, 1938. The writer almost fainted on that day, he had ended up in the hospital unconscious with severe lung inflammation. For several days, doctors fought for his life, not hiding from relatives that he had almost no chance of survival. To unravel this either misunderstanding or mystique, Petrov wrote another letter to New Zealand. However, he never received a response. World War II began. Petrov became a war correspondent. His colleagues didn't recognize him. He became closed, contemplative, and stopped joking, something that had never happened before. This story ended as mysteriously as it began. In 1942, Yevgeny Petrov flew on a plane from Sevastopol to Moscow, and that plane was shot down in the Rostov region. On the same day when news of the plane's death became known, a letter from New Zealand arrived at the writer's home. In this letter, Merrill Weasley was for some reason concerned about Petrov's life. Among other things, the letter included these lines, Remember, Yevgeny, I got scared when you went swimming in the lake. The water was very cold, but you said it was destined for you to crash in a plane, not drown. Please, be careful, fly as little as possible. By the way, based on this story, a film called The Envelope was made with Kevin Spacey in the lead role.